Yeah, Stan, you guys have lost three or four now, and I think you got six days before your next game. I mean, what's I mean, what's kind of at the top of the priority list between uh, for this team between now and, and the Vandy game? Um, I think we just got to um, figure out what it is, what's keeping us from being able to, you know, get consecutive stops. Um, and, you know, we haven't played a full game, a full 40 minute game of uh, playing, playing uh, well, and we just got to figure out how to do that. Have the defensive struggles surprised you a little bit? I mean, the, la the last few games based on maybe what you've seen you know, earlier in the season or maybe in preseason workouts, that kind of thing. Are you surprised a little bit by the defensive struggles? Um, I don't think, as you know, collectively, I don't think we've been playing as good as defense as we as we should all all year. Um, you know, I think we got to pick that up on that side of the ball, and we just got to you know lock in on that side of the ball. Bob, uh, Stanley, obviously, you guys didn't have JD tonight. You're, you're leading scorer, and uh, you know, Kamani played pretty well the last game. How do you think it impacted you guys being being down a couple players? You know, I mean, it's it's basketball. You know, that's that's what how the world we live in now. You know, guys are gonna be out. We just gotta step up. You know, there's no excuse. We just gotta. We didn't we didn't play. We got outplayed tonight. And then uh, the second half, you guys are right there at halftime. Down to the second half, they were able to get a big cushion. I think really out rebounded y'all. What 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 do you think was the difference in the second half? I think, you know, we just we just didn't come out, you know, with that same energy. We, we, we let it slip a little bit, and then we weren't able to get back into it. But um, that's on us. And, you know, they, they played well, but at the end of the day, we just got to be – we got to be better. We got to be able to put together a full 40-minute game. And you guys, um, you, you don't get to play for another six days, and so maybe that's good because maybe you get J.D. back. Eric said he doesn't know. But um, would you rather be playing this weekend, or do you think it's maybe good to get a little bit of a break, especially if it means J.D. could get back? Uh, I mean, it's, that's out of our control. We just got to uh, we, we got to play our schedule whenever the next game comes. We, we got to be ready to play. OK, I might have one one or two more if, if there's time. Thank you. Jackson. Um, did you have uh, or, or what sort of mindset did you come out with in the second half? You kind of struggled in the first half or two for six, came out in the second half and only missed one shot or five for six. Was there a change in your mindset or anything? Were you playing more free in the second half? Uh, I don't think there was there wasn't a change in my mindset. I was just kind of kind of trying to take what the defense was giving getting me. My teammates were, were finding me in good spots and I was able to just knock down shots that I work on. Curtis. Hey, Stanley, with the, the 17 turnovers tonight, what was Mississippi State doing to, to be disruptive? And then I guess how much of that do you, do you feel like was kind of self-inflicted on, on your end? You know, they're, they're a good defensive team, but uh, I do think that we, we had a lot of self-inflicted turnovers. A lot of them were on us, you know, and we just got to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. You know, 17 turnovers, it's going to be hard to win a game like that, so. All right, Bob, final question. Um, Stanley, I know it's a disappointing loss, but it's just one. You know, you got, I think, 17 more in the SEC, hopefully, that they don't get canceled or whatever. Um, I mean, how do you feel about the team moving forward? This team obviously still has a lot of talent. Yeah, I mean, we we still feel like we haven't played our best game, and we think that we just got to put to get put it together, put it all together, 40-minute game, and then we just got to build. You know, we got to get, we got to get off this um, – Losing streak and just build. Bet Online has you covered for all the holiday season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all sports action. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus with the promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B L E A V to receive your bonus. And it's not just football. Bet Online has pro and college hoops, NHL, boxing, UFC, even your favorite. Favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all these amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports.